The Redlands East Valley baseball team reached a CIF championship game back in 2008. This year's edition of the Wildcats hoping to make another run to the CIF finals and they open the Division II playoffs at home on Friday against Los Osos. I'm Pep Fernandez and you're watching High School Game Time. Let's do this. Let's check out the highlights. David Barella on the bump for the Wildcats. First inning, smooth sailing for the Mintone Southpaw. But in the second, Rev runs into some trouble. Los Osos with the bases loaded and nobody out. Barella gets a pop-up and then a strikeout for the first two outs. He nearly gets out of the jam, but the Grizzlies, Malcolm Smith, doubles to center field, and he unloads the bases. A three-run double for Smith. And Los Osos jumps in front by a score of three zip to the fourth. The Wildcats start down the comeback trail. Ryan Williams lifts this double to left field. Joe Rodriguez trots home, and the Wildcats are on the board. Still in the fourth, Jake Gozo grounds the short. That brings home Williams, and it's now a three to two ball game. To the fifth, the Wildcats, Scott Moreno takes matters into his own hands. The barehanded grab in the throw to first. Got him. A big league play by Moreno. To the sixth, Rev loads up the bases. Carter Flowers draws the walk, and Rodriguez scores, and that ties the game 3-3. Three three. Bases still loaded, and the patience at the plate pays off again. Bo Boisford, the walk, and Zach Kirtley crosses the plate as the go-ahead run. That would turn into be the game winner because in the seventh, Barella seals the deal as Rev advances to the second round, winning 4-3. to three. The Wildcats will host Chris Cinta Valley on Tuesday. Yeah, you know, tough to get down 3-0, uh, especially to a good pitcher like that, pretty good baseball team. Um, battle back. Best part was was our approach, uh, one through seven at the plate. I thought we had a pretty good approach. We didn't go outside of the zone too much. Um, we didn't chase a lot. Uh, it hurt us a couple times. The throwers in scoring position, let a couple pitches pass. But you know, overall, there in the bottom of the sixth inning, um, we were able to get some free passes by by really laying off some pretty good pitches. Um, and so that was the best. That, that's what we enjoyed the most was our approach at the plate. You know, every single time we always end up finding a way to score some runs in the later innings, and most of the time it works out for us, so there's really no worry on any of my team would pick me up. 